Solid, solid. We've done camera tricks. It's really nice. I hope you that last one. You are feeling like a bit of a cin cinematographic boss. Um, now we're going to go through one more technique with this camera that I think is just well worth its own video because there's a hell of a lot of potential here. Uh, dirt masks. Let's do it. Yo, what up? So I thought this camera effect needed its own tutorial. Uh, it's a real overlooked one that I think is really powerful and uh, yeah, very cool one. Let's look into this. Okay, I've just kind of like messed with the scene to up the light shaft and lens flares. Just because it's going to be a good one to play with with these dirt masks. Where you got a lot of light going on, um, dirt masks will really come into effect. So go into our uh, camera. You can, I'm using 1920 by 1080 images for my dirt mask. So I'm going to turn off this camera option, constrain aspect ratio. Make sure that's off. So that's going to be 1920 by 1080. And okay, down here, one of the post process effects is dirt mask. So this hollow kind of example is a good one just to show you what's going on. It automatically goes up to eight tops, but you could get away with a lot more than this. Let's put 500 in and we're starting to see what's going on here. So in the dark, it doesn't really show up. As it gets light, you get these reflections off of the screen. It's like you've got a dirty, dirty lens. So that's why it's called dirt mask, it's a dirty lens. But just that subtle, subtle effect is really, really nice. Go back to it again. Bump up to 900 and you can see 10,000 maybe. You know, you can see what's going on here. It reacts to the light in a really interesting way. So you can probably see the, see the potential here for sure. Why don't we try... So this is just like a regular kind of dirt mask that you would find. This is the kind of thing you would usually use for it. It's just this like dappling, dusty kind of effect. And you know, works well. When you got lots of different shades between light and black, it's showing up the white and it's emit the dark is kind of acting as alpha in something that's not going to show up. So, you know, it's a good one. Obviously, you can adjust the intensity and the tint. By adjusting the tint, you can also make it show up a lot more. But yeah, you know, tweak those levels as you will. But yeah, just really pretty, really pretty effect there. Obviously, that's way over the top. And of course, you can automate this. You can make it so that you know, whenever you get, whenever you get hit, the dirt mask comes up, blah blah, blah something like that. So, uh, yeah, so dusty one, regular dusty one. What we got? We got another dusty one here. Finer detail, down to 100 maybe. Pretty, it's pretty pretty. Play around with that tint. Nice subtle, nice subtle sort of noise there. That's nice. Um, you could chuck a normal map in. Why not? See what that does. Play about the tint. It's got some really nice grain to it, really fine grain. But the tint is kind of putting me off a bit. Very subtle grainy effect there. I think it's pretty, pretty nice to be fair. And that's just from a chucking a random normal map in. This gives your work another level of something going on. Why not load in some random patterns? Could be fun. Holographic, hollow kind of effect. Um, you could load in a CRT monitor. Why not? Maybe it's 200. A yeah, really cool light responsive CRT monitor effect. Awesome. Got another kind of boarded, boarded mask going on here. Dusty cracked edge of screen. You know, we could have like HUD element overlays. We could have like you've been hit. Classic Call of Duty hit marker kind of look. Using some blood vessels. Whoa, a bit much. You know, have that coming in and out. So many things you can do with dirt masks. Even do a watermark, you know, you want to mask off your work and say, you know, this is your own brand. You know, if you're doing some promo work or something, put a watermark over it. Um, and just try chucking random images. You really don't know what could have a cool effect. You know, who knows? Why not try a marker, a, you know, a site? Uh, and obviously this is only applied to the current camera. So you can tie that in with any any code you want to write into that, you know, pick up this camera. This camera now has this uh, this sight, you know, when you when you pick up a certain gun, you're now using this camera and using this sight, you know. So much you can do with this, super fun. Look how fun that is. I really like the CRT, I think that's really nice. So yeah, that's Dirt Masks. Let me know if that's helpful to anyone. I'd love to see how creative you can get with this stuff. And of course, once we get into blueprints and post-processing volumes and things like that, we can automate when these occur, you know, make this come up on a hit marker, make this come up on whatever.
So yeah, I hope that's useful. Loads of stuff that can be done with dirt masks. Next up, it's the final video. Now that we've covered all of these things, we're gonna put it into practice with a really cool example but to make a bit of a interesting scene. So I'm gonna use the example of a robot with laser eyes uh, because it's a good use of the volumetric fog and spotlight. And I'm just gonna attach that to a moving actor. But yeah, this will be a really fun example just to show how we can put everything we've learnt here into practice and make a pretty cool final product out of it. So join me on on that next one for an example of cool use of lighting and camera effects and stuff. Catch me in that one. Cheers. Mm -hmm.